You do not need to be afraid. We can be friends, they said. We did not believe them. They were strangers, aliens, the unworthy and untrustworthy. We wondered what went inside their alien minds and their incomprehensible gaze. They are not us. They are unwanted at best, and our enemies are worst. We treated anyone like this, wanting to keep it to ourselves, and only communicating if absolutely necessary. We were very wrong. It all started with the discovery of yet another pre-FTL civilization, a species close to reaching effective sublight speeds. Furless, bipedal, omnivorous mammals. We paid no attention, they were below our focus, so we let them live right next to our territory. But for the sake of scientific observation, we built a small automatic station on a dwarf planet they call Pluto to spy on them. But then something unexpected happened. A big piece of debris fell onto their planet. A heavily damaged wreckage of one of our ships. A breakthrough in space technologies ensued. They reverse engineered the remnants and jump started their interplanetary age. We were surprised how fast it all was. They were very clever and adaptive. It was impressive but small and insignificant. We had better. We could kill them accidentally. In a blink of an eye they had placed scientific, mining and touristic, it means going to a place for the sake of it, outposts everywhere in their solar system. And inevitably they found out about our small station. We thought about retrieving it, but for some reason we decided to let it stay. They prodded the station in and out, analysed every piece, and after quite some time, they finally figured out how it worked. Then they learned how to send their own messages, directly to us. They were constantly sending things to us, asking to meet and wanting wisdom. We ignored them at first. But then the messages became more complex. They sent us artworks and compliments. They sent us information peculiar and outlandish life forms native to their homeworld and their curious customs. We dismissed them. Since they were primitive aliens, they couldn't know better than us. And besides, we were more advanced in every way. But then the messages got more desperate and less frequent. Then they stopped. They had given up. We rejoiced. Those annoying children wouldn't be bothering us anymore. Though, after some time, we also grew to miss their constant assault of words and images. Even though primitive, their artwork, messages, and general appreciation was nice. They were just small children who were alone for their entire existence, after all. We decided to finally answer their desperate messages and satisfy their endless desire to learn. Greetings to you too, humans.